So here we have an exponential equa uh, equation. 7 times 2 to the x power equals 4. To The first thing that we have to do to solve this type of exponential equation is to isolate the exponential expression. And so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 7 and write this as 2 to the x power equals 4 sevenths. Now I've isolated the exponent and I can go ahead and solve this using any method that I want. So I'll go ahead and do this using both approaches again. Remember approach one says to just rewrite this as a log. Remember if you have a to the y power equals x, that means y equals log base a of x. And so here, the exponential expression will be written y equals log base 2 of 4 sevenths. And that would be an exact solution. If you want, you can rewrite this using the change of base formula and write this natural log of 4 sevenths divided by the natural log of 2. And then if you want to evaluate this and get an approximate solution, I'm getting that x is approximately negative 0 0.807. And then if you want to check your answer, you can just multiply that out. So 2 raised to the negative 0.807 is about 0.57 times seven is approximately four. There's a little bit of rounding error, but it does in fact work. Approach two would be same gig. We, had to, we would isolate the exponential. So we have two to the X equals four sevenths, and then take the natural log or the common log of both sides of the equation. This time I'll do the common log of both sides. So we have log of two to the x power equals log of four sevenths. Now, because I'm taking the log of an exponential expression, the exponent can come down in front and I get x times log two equals log of four sevenths divide by log two and you get that x is log of 4 sevenths over log of 2. That would be an exact answer. And note it, note it doesn't matter whether you use natural log or common log. These are equivalent because of the change base formula. And so if we evaluate each of these on our calculator, you would get that x is approximately negative 0.807. Remember, you don't have to worry about extraneous solutions with your exponential equations because the domain of any exponential function is the set of all real numbers. We only have to worry about extraneous solutions when we're dealing with the log equations.